Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So earlier today I posted a, uh, a posting about IT skills, specifically in the world of programming and, and info technology. This is from uh, dice.com. This is probably one of the largest, probably is the largest recruiting uh, site for jobs when it comes to software uh, in the US. So what they've done is they've put in a skill demand chart uh, of what the hot, hottest um, technologies are. And it's based upon supply and the demand. Now this is from their website, and, and I believe this is real time. So obviously you'd be kind of curious to see where things stand with certain skills. So in my case, let's say we do .NET. You can see that it's what they call tepid, meaning it's not hot. If you're interested in skills, for programming, even for Python, you want to be in the hot markets. So we're looking for skills that are hot. I'm going to show you the languages and skills that you need for trading and, and automated trading and algorithmic trading. Okay, so we know .NET is eh, C sharp. Alrighty, it's warm. Okay, I guess. Uh, let's let's see how C++ is doing. Um, so it's now tepid. The difference between warm and tepid is meaning that there's not as many jobs, plus the supply is up to par with what the demand is in terms of candidates. So that's why this job, this sector, or, or this temperature, you call it, it's not as good as C show. But... There's other languages that we want to focus on. So let, let, let's work on the language that we're currently working on for this trading system. Python. Uh, you would think, uh, what would it be? It's hot. So that's good. So it's a good skill to have that we're, we're, we're using. So knowing that. Now, we could also talk about R. It's cold. Uh, there's not enough demand for R. So what about MATLAB? I don't know if even MATLAB is in here, which means uh, it's not popular. But mathematics, a lot of people out there that have the skill in math. Uh, what else could we look at? Linux. There's a decent supply. But you can see Python is hot. Now, let's get into the database stuff. Um, I was told through the... the there's no, no SQL, MySQL, Tepid, uh, but let's see if there is Mongo, because we're using Mongo now, Mongo, Mongo, sorry, no Mongo, I don't think there'll be even Redis, no, real time, eh. but the point of all of this is that uh, Python is a skill to have if you are trying to do this and get into development as a skill set, Python's a good one to have. Hopefully that'll help you out, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good night, day, wherever you're, whenever you're calling in or viewing this. Thanks for watching.